In this video, we're going to learn an AI t-shirt design process using Midjourney. We're going to look at developing our prompt, extracting and upscaling our designs, putting the final touches on our designs, and finally mocking up our t-shirt. Please like and subscribe for similar content and let's start designing. First things first, we need to figure out our Midjourney prompt. And I like to think of this as a mood board, but in word format. Instead of pictures or designs, our mid-journey mood board will be made up of keywords. Now there's a couple of ways to figure out your prompt mood board or your keywords. You could, for example, start by scrolling through Instagram, looking at designs there to find inspiration. Or you could go to your favorite brand's website and look through their t-shirt designs and come up with keywords through that. For today though, I'm going to use Etsy to fill out my list and I'll start by searching for graphic t-shirt in here and see what we can come up with. Now what I'm going to do is just scroll through this web page and look for any designs that stand out and I'm going to add those keywords that I immediately think of into a list. So right off the bat, I like this flower design. so. Let's add in flower of flowers. I like this eagle in here, this bird eagle thing. So let's put in eagle. I like this skeleton too, actually. So maybe some form of eagle skeleton. And I like this retro vintage design here. So let's add retro to our list. I think we have enough words for our keyword list. Let's head over to mid journey and see what we can come up with there. Now I have discord open and I've created a new server. I've added mid journey to the server so I can prompt it directly in here. Now for this method, I'm obviously using Midjourney and you'd need to have a Midjourney subscription to be able to prompt it. However, I will include some free alternatives in the description below for you to check out so you can continue with this method just using a different source. Now I'm looking over my list of keywords and in order to prompt, I just need to use the imagine command and then type in my prompt. So let's start with equal skeleton flower pattern retro. And let's see what we can get. Okay, we have the results from our first prompt. And we have some some cool designs here. I like the retro flower patterns over here. The skull designs look pretty cool. However, I was thinking more of an actual eagle skeleton rather than human skulls with some bird elements. So I'll keep playing with the prompts. I'll add some stuff here and there and see if we can get something more interesting and closer to what we were thinking about. After a couple more prompts, I think we have what we're looking for here. For our prompt, I added in vector style up ahead just because these I found to be typically easier to print eventually and easier to extract as well as solid background, which makes it easier to remove the background and give us the ability to just put these on different mock-ups of t-shirts or, or other designs. So I went ahead and upscaled this third one here, which I especially like. And this is the final result from Midjourney. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to download this image and we're gonna upscale it even more by going to an online AI upscaler tool. And that's what we're doing next. After generating our image through Midjourney, we can head to upscale.media 
to upscale our design for free. And it's as simple as dragging over our downloaded image file, dropping it in here and choosing 4X as our upscaler. And that's it. It's downloaded and it's ready to go. So now that our design is upscaled, we're going to open it in Photoshop for some final touches. First thing we're going to need to do is remove this background so we can extract this design and put it on mockups or other media. There's a couple of ways to do this. I like to start by unlocking this layer, going to select and selecting the subject. Now Photoshop is going to do a pretty good job in most cases. However, we will still see some cases where we need to fill in the gaps. So I will go ahead and do those manually with the quick selection tool here, and then we can continue after. click into the layer mask thumbnail and increase the feather just a little bit so that it looks nicer on the mockups. Let's do two and a half. And lastly, we're going to decontaminate colors and hit OK. Now that we have our layer here, we can convert this into a smart object and then copy it. Now I have a mockup file that I will link in the description below by NT visuals. It's a very cool short mockup that you can use for free and using it is very easy. It's just a matter of double clicking into this smart object here, pasting your layer that we copied earlier and just resizing it. I'm going to delete these other layers and resize our design. And we can unhide this to better position our design. Shoot for the middle here. Once we're done positioning, we can hide the save zone layer, save the smart object, and then go back into our original file. And there you have it. That's our final design. There's a couple different colors that we can use. White or black, I like both actually. Now you have a t-shirt design mocked up and ready to sell. Thank you very much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it and I hope you were able to learn something new. Let me know in the comments below what prompts you like to use when coming up with t-shirt designs. And remember to like and subscribe for more graphic design and AI tutorials. It's been JD Design, and I'll see you in the next one.